Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies, as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. A con artist attends a parole hearing at the opening of the film. Her infamous brother died recently, and she has spent the last five years in prison. She claims she is more than ready to return to society and live a simple existence. When she is released, the first thing she does is go to a department store in New York City and pinch several items while claiming to be there to return them. She then checks into a hotel, claiming to be part of a couple who has just checked out. Debbie reunites with her old partner in crime, who works at a bar where she and her associates are diluting vodka. She tells her about a new scheme of hers that she requires her assistance with. They go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where the upcoming Met Gala will be hosted, and she is plotting a heist. At the same time, she permits her to remain with her. This video is sponsored by QD. QD is Asia's largest platform for students, tutors, and coaches to find and book lessons online or offline all from single platform. Sign up at QD today. The plan is to steal the Taosin, a valuable diamond necklace valued at $150 million. She wants to use a snobbish socialite as the mule so she can wear it to the Met Gala and have it photographed. She must first gather a crew in order to carry this off. The team consists of her best friend and partner in crime, a jeweler who can create a replica of the targeted necklace, a fence who provides the team with the necessary equipment, a pickpocket who helps them get access to the event, a hacker who takes care of the security systems, and a fashion designer who will dress the actress who will be wearing the targeted necklace. The seven women gather at her loft, where the con artist reveals the plan and how they intend to infiltrate the Met Gala in order to secure the necklace, so that each of them will have $16.5 million in three weeks. First, the ladies must meet with a celebrity name to possibly dress her for the gala at a local restaurant. When she witnesses them meeting in the tabloids, she arranges a meeting with her to dress her instead. They then plan for them to meet with the Tao Sein in order to persuade the necklace's owners to let her wear it to the gala. The women give her special glasses to wear so she can scan the necklace and send it to a 3D printer, which will print a zirconium replica of the necklace, which they will swap for the real thing. When she finally gets to wear the necklace, she finds that it can only be removed with a special magnet. She contacts her sister, who knows what to do to remove the necklace without using that specific magnet. The crew then joins the event as part of the staff, with one of them employed as a coordinator. She recruits three more people to work in the kitchen, while the hacker attempts to gain access to the computer of someone working the event in order to view the seating plans for the event. She intends to have the man reach the target in order for him to be her date. She then discovers she intends to frame the man as part of her revenge plot. A flashback sees the con artist meeting him for the first time 10 years ago, and they hit it off. He got her into a fraud scheme, and it was his evidence against her that got her locked up. She attempts to reassure her partner that the task is solely to obtain the necklace. The Met Gala night comes, and celebrities such as are in attendance. The con artist poses as a German socialite with dyed blonde hair and uses her expert knowledge of the German language to get the group into positions. The target appears with the man as her date after she had arranged for them to meet and struck it off. One of the girls adds something to the target soup, causing her to rush to the bathroom and, and vomit. Constance manages to remove her necklace while her head is in the commode. She hands the necklace to a waitress, who proceeds to a staff bathroom to begin removing the diamonds. Her bodyguards note that the necklace is missing after she exits the bathroom. They secure the area while looking for it. Before a guard can find her, one of them pulls out the fake zirconium necklace and gives it over. Constance then retrieves the diamonds and distributes the individual pieces to the rest of the team before disappearing through the exits. When the fake necklace is found the next day, an insurance fraud investigator is called in because he is familiar with her and her family's history, as well as the fact that she was seen at the event. When she walks in, the women are in their hideout. They explain that they summoned her in because she was beginning to figure out their plan because she was recording the day they discovered the magnet. She is genuinely excited to join because she does not have many female friends and finds this exciting. She later places evidence of some of the diamonds in his apartment making matters worse for him because four elderly women have also placed valuables in his possession. He is imprisoned. The crew cheers their success, but she points out that stealing one necklace and splitting it eight ways didn't seem like a good idea. 
That's when she discloses that during the lockdown, they stole all of the necklaces from the gala. The amazing Yen assisted Lu by effortlessly passing through the laser detectors and assisting her in securing the items. The women split up with all the money they wanted to do whatever they wanted. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.